In this video, I will answer these questions which were IELTS Part 3 questions on the 15th of January 2021. How often do people in your country or city go shopping? How do people normally shop? Why do some people like to go to big shopping malls and some like small shops? Why is online shopping more and more popular? Do you think online shopping will replace shopping in stores? Question number one. How often do people in your country go shopping? Well, it depends very much on the person. Here in Australia, most people go shopping at least once a week to buy their groceries because many people live in the suburbs and drive cars to the shops. Other people who live in apartments which are located mainly in the cities may go shopping every day for groceries, especially as most grocery stores are located in the basements of high-rise apartment buildings. And so it's very convenient to just pop in and buy dinner from the supermarket or takeaway just before going up to your apartment. Also, shopping habits vary considerably from person to person. For some people, shopping is a daily habit and other people avoid shops like the plague. Other people are shopaholics or compulsive shoppers who are obsessed with the latest trends or getting a bargain and they would shop as often as possible. Other people dislike shopping as they see it as, a, as materialistic and a waste of money and time so they avoid shops and may only shop once a fortnight. People living out in the countryside may almost never go shopping at all and even grow their own food. And so there really is no need to go shopping, especially with online shopping being as convenient as it is. Question number two. So how do people normally shop? Well, it varies so much from person to person, so it's difficult to say accurately. Some people love to go clothes shopping and buy a new item of clothing every week. So they are popping into clothing shops as often as possible, especially if they work near them. As for grocery shopping, which is probably the most common type of shopping, I think a lot of people usually drive to supermarkets, especially in Australia, because people live in houses and they drive to the supermarket once a week and buy a whole week's worth of groceries and go to small corner stores for top-ups. Some people like to go to local markets and prefer local shops to large supermarkets. And of course, online shopping has become more and more popular. So perhaps online shopping is slowly becoming the norm for more and more people. Question number three. Why do some people like to go to big shopping malls and some like small shops? Well, malls have a selection of hundreds of shops to choose from in one convenient place. Shopping malls can also be good places to meet people in coffee shops, or see a movie, have a haircut or go to the post office. They also typically have chain and large stores where there are economies of scale, so plenty of sales. I guess there is also a certain attraction with the controlled climate of such places as well. Outside it can be a steaming hot day and in a mall there is deliciously cool air conditioning. Although I do think that many people prefer small local shops on a main street because they have more character especially local character and there is local friendliness and maybe they are friends with the shopkeepers who have been in the area for a long time and have a regular friendly chat and so it becomes part of a communal neighborhood experience. Local small shops are more unique than franchise and brand name shops and they can reflect the special local community flavor. A local cafe may have historical photos on the wall or local craft or artwork to enjoy. And also clothes stores may have handmade local clothing where each piece is unique and is not mass produced. Question four, 
Why is online shopping more and more popular? Well, I think online shopping has become a lot more popular with the COVID restrictions, which are keeping people in their homes and preventing them from shopping freely. I think online shopping is booming in this COVID era and multinational companies like Amazon and Alibaba are doing extremely well because many local shops are closed or people are weary of going to them because they may get COVID germs. Of course, online shopping can be extremely economical because of a kind of globalised free market where products and services are competing with each other on a global scale. It is possible to buy products and services online now from places like India and Bangladesh, where the wages are much lower than in first world countries. It is interesting, though, in this COVID affected world, as the air travel um, has been restricted and has increased the cost of airmail, and it's actually has made online shopping much more expensive because of increased air freight costs. So some people are preferring to purchase goods in their own country now instead. Question five, do you think online shopping will replace shopping in stores? No, I don't. I think human beings, especially women, have a gathering instinct, which goes back to primal times when women gathered berries and plants for the tribe to eat. And I think in a similar way, many people love to go shopping and browse and rummage and look for little gems to take back to their homes. So the home is a bit like the um, nest or the, um, the tribal camp. I think people like to touch things and try them on or compare things or see how um, some earrings go with their clothes or hair or skin colour. I just think people love to um, be in a shop in the actual space. I also feel that people get a lot of joy from traditional culture, which can often come from local shops. People love to buy the local freshly baked bread that they can smell from the street and buy dairy products made from local cows, which they can see in the pastures if they go for a drive in the countryside. I think people like to connect with their local community by buying products from local shops. I just think being alone in an apartment and buying everything online seems rather lonely, don't you think? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share it with some people that you know and help me grow, help others see this video.